Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, AvrielR32 here. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, and I think I'm going to make that my new intro now. Like, I know I literally don't have the most subscribers, but it just, it feels so fun to say it's your host with the most, and I've always wanted to say that. So, um, I think I'm going to make that my new intro. Anyways, that was just on a side note. Let's get into the main discussion, as you guys can be able to see on the DN screen. Also, in case you guys have not already added me on Dueling Network, I made a new account. Instead of it being CODXP96, it is now CODXP99. For some reason, I got hacked for the second time, and DN banned me again. Um, I tried to file a complaint, and uh, they said, no, you're banned permanently because you cussed too many people out. And I'm like, I never cuss anybody out. I'm telling you, I got hacked. Like, there's something wrong with your system. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, it's happened to two of my accounts now, uh, and this just proves why I hate DN, because they don't realize that on any kind of online system, you can get hacked. Like, if you play me on DN, you will know I don't cuss people out. Like, I mean, I just, it's disrespectful. <laughs> um, you know, I might get pissed or whatever, but I mean, I just, I won't actually tell the person, oh, you're such a fag. I'll just, like, I'll just, like, log off and just go and be salty. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I wanted to bring you guys an updated version uh, for, wait, what's the, What's the month? September, yes, September. <laughs> um, September 15th, wow, okay, two weeks into the new format. It seems like it's been longer than that. Anyways, um, so this is the self-destruct button, uh, September 2013 decklist uh, for the September TCG balance format, of course. Uh, for those of you who are newer subscribers, you guys probably don't know uh, what this deck is. You guys are probably thinking, oh my god, this dude's out of his mind. Um, unless you saw me on Vex, uh, Vex's channel. Um, almost kind of got my boards tongue-tied there. Um, <laughs> but on Vex's channel, I posted this on his channel, uh, and it's pretty much what kind of skyrocketed me to, I guess you could say where I am now, uh, that and besides just doing deck lists and stuff from big events. Um, but this is kind of what helped me gain popularity. Um, back uh, when I posted that video on Vex's channel, we had three one-day FPs, and we had card destruction and everything. Um, but for my newer subscribers, let me just explain what this is. Uh, as I just said, it's kind of what shot me into where I am now, uh, because that that video got about just over 2,000 views uh, on Vexy's channel. I got like 25 likes and 4 dislikes. Uh, I just recently checked it, that's why I'm just kind of giving this information out. Um, also, it was... I had gotten the idea from another YouTuber, uh, and I kind of posted on my channel, kind of hoping it would, uh, you know, kind of just get me somewhere, and it did. Uh, Hence, I have 364 subscribers as of right now. Almost 400, which is freaking insane, you guys. Almost 400 subs. I never thought I would get there within my five years. But anyways, that's just a side note. Um, but the deck, uh, I, I say this in the beginning of each of my self-destruct button videos. Um, for my newer subscribers, of course, this is why I'm saying this. For you older subscribers, just skip this part. <laughs> uh, but the whole point of the self-destruct button deck is for my, uh, well, if you're playing this at, like, say, a regional or a YCS or whatever, and the judge asks you, why are you playing this deck? Like, what's the point of it? Because that can't happen. You just say, the point of the deck is for my opponent not to touch my life points except for me. Um, because it is true. You don't want your opponent touching your life points at all. You want to have complete control of your life points. Hence, inspection uh, during each of your standby, during each of your opponent's standby phases, you can randomly select a card in their hand and then look at the cost of 500 life points. And then while revealing light, you're touching your own life points. And of course, self-destruct button uh, makes the game a draw. Uh, so just let me give a little bit of backstory first behind this. Um, quick ruling with inspection. You can use inspection just like Treeborn Frog as many times as you want in the standby phase. Um, so if you're at 8,000 life points, then you use inspection until you hit 500 life points, which is like 15 times, I believe. Uh, I believe the math is correct on that. Um, you, so you use it until you hit 500 life points, and then you can use self-destruct button. Or you just wait until your opponent draws a card. You can activate wall for revealing light. You pay 7,000, activate self-destruct button, GG, move on to the next game. Uh, so how do you win with this deck, in case you're wondering? Well, of course, it's the side deck. Game one, uh, you just keep drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing um, until finally you end up with self-destruct button and either an inspection or a wall of revealing light. Uh, you would just set your whole hand if you're able to, uh, pass your turn, your opponent is gonna tr might try and do something or whatever, and in case they don't really you know do anything to the back row, uh, if you had the wall of revealing light, you know you would just activate, pay the 7,000, your opponent would make a move, they would have their turn, you would draw, and basically you would just keep on going and going and going until finally uh, you know you got to maybe like a, you know maybe 10, 15 minutes left in left in the clock, and you're still in game one, you play self-destruct button, go into game two, do the same thing until you have about 10 seconds left, self-destruct button, then once you go into game three and you hit time, then you take out 15 cards from your main deck, 
and put 15 cards from your side deck into the main deck. And with Golden Ladybug, since you gain 500 life points uh, each of your standby phases by revealing it, um, that's how you win. You have higher life points. You're using the rules of the game to your uh, advantage. They have since then, since I first posted this deck on my YouTube channel, uh, they have passed different rulings. Um, if game one happens to be a draw, then the original ruling used to be whoever made game one a draw, that same person gets to choose who goes first and second in game two, which made this deck really, really nutty uh, because you could just you could just wait like basically as long as you wanted to with wall revealing light up until your opponent was able to somehow get around wall revealing light with like an MST or a Draco sack or whatever. And then once they were going to swing for game, you could just go self-destruct button. Or if they were going to do something to where they could possibly negate your self-destruct button, back then we had self-judgment, so it didn't really matter, uh, then you could go self-destruct button. And uh, what's funny is, self-destruct button works in a chain. So if you go wall revealing light, uh, and they go dark bribe, and then you go solemn judgment, and then they go poison of the old man because dealing that 800 would kill you you can chain self-destruct button then if they chain another poison on the old man then you can chain another self-destruct button and then that self-destruct button would resolve and the chain would cease to continue because the game is automatically a draw right there uh, self-destruct button is one of the few cards in the game that actually does not let a chain resolve um, which is it's really really cool especially against decks like chamber where they have to get their chains off you can just go no self-destruct button I don't want your chain to go off and make me lose let's go to the next game um, so let me go into the deck list real quick. You have three Dogma, three Plasma, three Dreadmaster, and one Blue Eyes New Dragon. Um, this engine is meant for your D draws and Tradens. Of course, you want to use your Tradens for Blue Eyes Two Dragon and your D draws for your Destiny Heroes. Of course, now that D draws at three, it helped the deck a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, the deck did get hurt pretty bad with the banning of Card Destruction and the banning of Solemn Judgment. But I'll get into that in a minute. Um, when one One Day of Peace, the deck was super super even better when One Day of Peace was at three because then you didn't have to rely on Dark World Dealings as much, because you want to keep cards in your hand just in case if you need them, uh, because you'll more than likely be using Into the Void whenever you're drawing. Uh, so, you know, you could just set your whole hand, have your resources for next turn, whereas the Dark World Dealings, you got to be pitching them to the grave, which kind of sucks. Um, so it kind of forces you to use three Dark World Dealings now, and it really sucks that you have to use three Dark World Dealings, because we lost uh, a, a nice draw card, which was Card, card Destruction. So now it, it sucks to run Dark World Dealings. It's much better to run three One Day of Peace um, because it's also, now that they took away two One Day of Peace, that's two less protection cards. Um, and now that Mind August is at one, the uh, the Mind August FTK is uh, impossible to do now. Uh, so bringing back One Day of Peace at three, the only deck that would help is Chamber and this, but no one plays this except for me. Uh, Pot of Duality at three. This helped the deck also because it, it gives the deck more consistency. The only problem is that you can only play one per turn. If you could play, you know, all three in one turn, that'd be really freaking busted in this deck. Uh, because it, it would not matter that Card Destruction was banned and Solemn Judgment was banned. Because you could just constantly use these to look through your deck. Uh, three Upstart, it's obvious. You want your opponent to gain the life points. Um, because then that just helps you with Inspection, Warm, Veil, Light, and Self-Destruct Button. So you really don't care about them gaining life. Uh, Into the Void, uh, like I said, uh, very good card. Uh, if you have... If you have four cards in your hand, and then... No, I'm sorry. If you have exactly three cards in your hand, and then you go to play Into the Void, and you only have two left, you could still activate it. Because at the time, if you activated it, you had three cards in your hand. Uh, three Inspection, I already explained it. Wall Reveal Light, I already explained it. And three self destruct Button. Uh, in the build from last format, you had two Dark World Dealings, one One Day of Peace, one Card Destruction, and one Solemn Judgment. Of course, you know, that changed because Card Destruction and Solemn Judgment got banned. This deck got hurt tremendously with Solemn Judgment being banned. Um... Solemn Judgment being banned really hurts it because of the fact that you... you Solemn Judgment, I mean, it, it stopped everything. I mean, you could... You can use Dark Bribe, but at the same time, you know, you're giving your opponent the draw, which, of course, you don't care about. Um, so, I mean, if, if you do want to throw Dark Bribe in here, that's neat. Um, you would have to take out a Dark World Dealings, though, which is one less draw card, and you lost a very nice draw card, in this case, Card Destruction. Um, so, I mean, you kind of have to use the three Dark World Dealings, so it's kind of like... Darned if you do, darned if you don't use Dark Bribe. I mean, you can use Dark Bribe if you want to test it out, but really, if if you if you make this deck past 40, it's really going to hurt it, even at 41. Like, this deck has to be 40, period. Like, end of the discussion. Like, it just... I don't know. It just it cannot be 40. Or, it cannot be past 40. Um, so, I mean, if you really want to, test out taking a Dark World Dealings, throwing in a Dark Bribe. Um, I've kind of tinkered around... Solemn Judgment and Dark Bribe when Solemn Judgment was legal, but Solemn Judgment is just an overall better card 
because back in the day when Dino Rabbit was big, if they played a Logia, you could just Psalm Judgment the Logia, and then once you knew that they were playing stuff like that, then you could just self-destruct button to get yourself out of that situation. Uh, it's a it's a dick move, but I mean, like I said, this deck is this deck is literally a dick move just to play. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's it's very difficult to use the deck now, especially like since ever since I first posted this on my channel, like th a lot of things have changed, i.e., card destruction and Psalm Judgment being banned. Um, and the ruling that they changed, which now, uh, they changed the ruling, like I said earlier in the video, where if it, whoever makes the draw game one gets to decide who gets to go first or second in game two, that doesn't apply anymore. You have to re-roll the dice, which really sucks. Um, so, I mean, if that come, if you're, if you're running a deck like this and push comes a shove like that, try to get away with doing rock, paper, scissors if you can, because you'll have a better chance of winning than rolling the dice, because, I mean... You, you could take your thumb and your finger and just flick the dice, like you're almost like you're flipping it backwards, and you're you're going to land on a 4, 5, or 6 gear pretty much almost every time. Um, I've done it even before just testing with my friends. I'll go to flip the dice, and I'll flip it backwards with my thumb with my right hand, and I'll just take my 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 uh, my thumb and then the finger right next to it, and I'll just flip it, and I land on like a 4, 5, or 6 every time. So if you can get away with doing rock, paper, scissors when using this deck in an event, Please, for the love of God, do rock, paper, scissors. It will make your life a lot easier. Uh, and if you end up winning, then, for the love of God, go first. Because even with all this draw engine, like I said, we lost card destruction. Like, that was, like, five draw cards in one. You know what I mean? And, it, like, you really have to thin through this deck. I mean, if you open up Wall Revealing Light and or Inspection and a Self-Destruct button in your opening hand, then you're good. You know, just if you have any cards in your hand that are draw cards, like Upstart Goblin or Into the Void, use them until you just run out of gas. Then just set your hand, play the wall revealing light, and just sit on it for as long as you can, then play self-destruct button, go into game two, time it right, play self-destruct button, and then by the time you go into game three and you're siding, you get called for time. That's the way it works every single time. So I'm sorry that this video kind of ran on a little bit long, guys. I know I haven't posted in a few days. Uh, like I said, I've been busy with school. Um, it's been super, super busy, you guys. Uh, I just did NLB. Uh, I was in Daytona this weekend with some family celebrating my grandmother's birthday. So I've just, it's just been stuff after stuff. So I'm, I'm really trying to stay up with it, you guys. Thank you for always being supportive. I love you guys. And as always, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and most importantly, subscribe.